We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Right. Hello, how are we doing today? Um, I'm in Shiremoor and I'm going to Blythe. So, in short, that's that's what's happening. So, there we go. Uh, right, what's happening here? Right, okay, yes, I know what I'm doing. So, it's still the 4th of December. Um, this is actually the sequel to my last video. Where I've done the business I needed to, to do in Shiremoor and Blythe's next on the agenda, so that's that's what we're doing. So I thought, well, you know, the viewers and subscribers crying out for videos, so let's film this journey as well. There we go. So we're approaching Erzden. Not to be confused with Erzden in Northumberland, um, past Morbeth. You know, if you're going at the A1 just before it turns into a single carriageway, there's a turn off at Erzden. If you're drunk and you're from round here and you find yourself over that way, you might accidentally take that turn off in an attempt to get home, which would be a bad move. So, I think we're going to go down the Beehive Road, uh, which is what I used to call when I was a kid the bumpy way because it's like. It's a country road in the middle of an urban area, so it's quite quite a rarity. But it's great. If you're a bit of a rebel, uh, I don't advocate this, by the way, but it is possible for your tyres to leave the ground when you go over one of the hills. But um, obviously stick to the speed limit and you won't have to worry about that. And I believe it's a 40 along here. This is it, the Beehive Road, and it's called the Beehive Road because there's a pub called the Beehive. At least that's me assuming why it's called the Beehive Road. For all I know, the pub could be named after the road, but I very much doubt it. Maybe clarify that by commenting below. So yeah, um, as I said in the last video, um, when the last video was filmed, or when this video was filmed as well, um, I'm up to 196 subs no sorry 194 subscribers and I need six more subscribers to hit the magic 200 and when I hit 200 or if I hit 200 before the end of December then I'm going to do a and a session and answer your questions so if you've got any questions if you haven't already asked them uh, just leave them below um, in the comments section and I'll pick out the best questions and answer them be a question about anything, it could be about the local area, local history, uh, questions about me, um, just how you like really. Um, if you don't really know much about us, obviously I'm from North Tyneside um, and I love football. Not so much playing it, although I do enjoy playing it. I just I'm a bit old for it now. Um, I love music. I play music. Um, I've written music. I love uh, researching music stats from the, like the charts and stuff like that. Although these days there's nothing really much to talk about. Um, I, like, I like science. I love local history. So, uh, if you've got any questions in those categories, and fire away. So, there we are. So, I am in a band as well. Um, the band's called Cosmic Space Pirates. And we do pub gigs in and around Tightside area. So, uh, go on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Cosmic Space Pirates. Find it when we're playing, and you can come along and say hello.
We've actually got a gig in Erzd, uh, the Red Lion, in September. Is it September? I think it's the 1st of September. Or was it? No, hang on. I'm getting your wires crossed. We had a gig on the 1st of September this year, but we've got another gig the following year, 2019. I can't remember the date. But go on the Facebook page if you're interested. And we're heading towards Seton Sluice. We've got a gig on the 15th of February at the Hastings Arms in Seton Sluice. So if you're from Rongbier, then come along. We do all sorts of stuff like rock and pop, indie, from the 60s through to the, the noughties. So we've everything from T Rex, Kings of Leon, Killers, Oasis, Blur. Of Rod Stewart, you know, songs that get people about their seats in the second half when they've had a few beers. But it's a good laugh. We always we always have a laugh when we're when we're playing, take the mick out of each other, and have a bit of banter with the crowd. So yeah, whoop, say Daisy, it's gone to a thirty there. there we are. building ahead of the Delaval Arms, outside there there's a stone, it's called a blue stone. Now there's conflicting stories about that blue stone, I'm not sure if I've actually mentioned this in the previous video. Um, it's just a little plinth with a, with a rock on it, it's actually called the blue stone. Now there's one story that there was a guy who was the world's strongest man at the time, I can't tell you how long ago it was. but. He apparently picked that stone up from Blythe or somewhere and he carried it all the way there <coughs> to outside the pub and that's where it's been ever since. Um, that's one story. Another story is that's where it marks um, a part of the original Old Hartley village um, with the blacksmiths or something. That's another story. Again, if you know the true story, or if you've got an alternative story, then just drop a comment down below. Turn me heating down. I don't full blast because it's freezing today. It's the first time this year I've had to uh, scrape ice off my windscreen. <clears throat> oh, incidentally, um, following on from a video I did months ago when I got my new car, um, and I put suggestions to name the car. Um, I'm driving at the minute. It's a dark blue Zafira. Um, and I've picked the name Blue Thunder. So that's what my current car is called Blue Thunder. So there we are. Toilet block on the right, um, don't go there at night. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Left here, we've got the Astley Arms, um, which used to be a Crown Carvery, but it's, uh, it's a stone house now. <coughs> I've never been since it's changed to stone house, so um, I understand they do pizzas and stuff now. Excuse me, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> Officially in Northumberland, 
Um, I have been really since, since the BI road. Um, which is strange because uh, Seaton Delaval it still comes under Whitney Bay. It's still an 0191 telephone area and it's still an any 25 postcode. Um, same as Seaton Sluice. But officially, um, Northumberland starts, if you're coming from the coast, it starts uh, around where the cemetery and the caravan park is. Horse crossing! Horse crossing the road! Makes a difference from a zebra crossing. <laughs> Blythe. Oh, there we are. Blythe. Blith. Welcome to Blith. It's a colourful town. If you're from the area, um, you'd, you'd agree with us. Um, it's got some nice parts. I mean, it's got a, it's got a couple of nice estates. Um, sort of this end, but further you get into the town and towards the other side. <clears throat> um, yeah. A bit iffy. Famous for its football team, Blythe Spartans, who made it to the quarter-final of the FA Cup in 1977 or something like that. In fact, they had to play that game at St James's Park. Uh, they made it the third round of the FA Cup <clears throat> uh, in 2009 and they played Blackburn Rovers at home, which is incidentally how Newcastle have uh, drawn for the 2019 FA Cup. It was the fourth round they made it through. I remember. The lad I went to school with was captain for Blythe that day. Two thousand and nine, by the way, not nineteen seventy-seven. <laughs> right, that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you drive safely. See you later. Bye bye.